Hi, it's Rich from Low and Design. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a fiber laser, just a quick overview of it, and we're gonna look at building a case for it to protect your eyes when the fiber laser is running. So our fiber laser is from Nua Laser. It was a company that was recommended to me by Chad from Mancrafting, and it's a nice configuration because all the electronics and the power supply and everything is all in this case below. The whole laser is one box, essentially, that you can just carry around. So it's a lot easier if you're just one person trying to move it and or move it from location to location. The laser came with a 100 millimeter and a 200 millimeter lens. And that specifies the area that you can engrave or a 200 by 200. And if it's a 200 by 200, you're effectively putting down a quarter of the power onto what you're engraving. So if you're really trying to deep engrave, you want to use a 100 millimeter lens. This laser is a 60 watt laser at JPT uh, M7. And that means you can set the pulse width, which is sort of an extra parameter that you can control along with the power and uh, the frequency of it and whatnot. So the pulse width, it, it, it lets you change, have effect on the color of what you're engraving into uh, metal or aluminum, whether it comes out with kind of a gold color or a silver color or whatever. It laser came with a rotary and they have different sizes of these. So you want one, like a, a bigger one. This one I think is a hundred millimeter rotary, maybe 200. And uh, it came with a foot switch, which I wired up and connected and then disconnected because it's just a little too dangerous to me that just touching this foot switch or having something fall on it or somebody else playing with it could cause the laser to start going when you're adjusting something in here with your hands. But what I really wanted to do with the laser was build a case for it that completely blocked all the light that was being emitted from this when it was running that will protect from, from people who are walking by and if you forget to put your glasses on that you're still safe using the laser. So that's today's build. This is some really grody wood. This is really, really bad. Real it's like really, it's so bad you're gonna have to paint it even though it's a thing that doesn't matter. These little nuts you use in T-slots, they're nice because they fit sideways into the slot just like that. And then as you tighten it down, they automatically lock into the slot. As it, it's in there as I yep. turn the nut, it goes just to the right spot and locks in. So it'll this little piece that goes across will be level with it. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's try this. Beauty. Great. Out there, and a door across in front. It looks like that. All right, we're gonna cut some aluminum pieces, fit in there, make a door. And I have written my numbers down, so off we go. Either way it works. Oh, that's the wrong, wrong way. That's hilarious. Maybe that quarter inch plastic, I don't think it would fit though. So close to a quarter inch. Hmm. 
and two, three, some holes and uh, make four of these and then we'll just have a little plate there like that. So, carefully measure the holes. Kind of using the plastic to give me a 90 degrees. This is a well used piece of plastic. Okay. I'm going to say that's a promising idea. occurs to me is it would have been just as easy to cut these pieces out on a laser. Not the fiber laser, but the CO2. Crackly crack crack. Thanks, Jimmy. Okay. Now we're gonna want two hinges. Attach it on there. We have a handle over here. Who forgot the handle? Ready? Eight and five eighths. Ready? Eight and one eighth. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> We're out by an eighth. Okay. Gonna hold that there so you can install it. Uh, I need to drill. I need to figure out where to drill holes. Mm, yeah. Can't tell if it's tapping or stripping. All right, we'll call that good enough. Okay. Unfortunately, I put in a big squirt of it and it went right over the writing they had imprinted on there. At some point, I'm gonna be tempted to take this plastic cover off. We don't wanna do that because we wanna paint this black first. Oh, that's smart. I thought I was gonna to have to tape it off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe the peeling would help. I'm gonna lid. So I'm just gonna, there's a couple of slots here. I didn't really measure these, but you know, just be okay. Okay. Here's our Nicely painted door piece. And we have our green see-through window, which I think we should be able to peel this off. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Laser light proof window. Hurt to be a little ambidextrous with tools. Just right about there. All right, let's see if this closes.
Great. And now we're saving ourselves from certain blindness. Well, that's it for building our case for the fiber laser. Thanks for joining us today at Low in Design.